What's going on lads, it's Billy the Kid here and today I'm bringing you another episode of Billy's Bits and Bobs Gaming News. I hope you enjoy the Company of Heroes 2 gameplay, it's a lot of fun to play lads, I highly suggest you go and check it out if you're into World War 2 real time strategy games. So I hope you enjoy the gameplay once again, so let's get on with today's video. So the first thing on today's news is that there has been a petition created to get rid of infestation survivor stories on Steam to remove it completely. And let me just explain to you very quickly, if you've never heard of this game or you're not a Steam user or a PC player. So Infestation Survivor Stories used to go by a different name. It used to be called The War Z. Now this game was created primarily because of the success of DayZ, the mod for Arma 2. The developers of this game, The War Z, basically decided to cash in on the success of DayZ and they created their own little version of it. Now, when the game was released back in December of last year, it advertised that it had a 100 kilometer map. You could uh, get free items when you bought the game. You were given free items, you were given free weapons. You were given all this false advertisement information that when players actually bought the game and played it, they realized, hang on a second, this map is only 10 kilometers big and all the items that was promised aren't there. So two days after the game was put up on Steam, it was put up on December 17th and it was taken down on December 19th because of this false advertising, but it was soon put back on Steam after they corrected the description of the game in Steam. But ever since then, the game has just been really, really negatively liked. It's just gotten so many bad reviews that in the end, they actually had to go and change the name of the game. Not only because of the World War Z film coming out with Brad Pitt, which I actually went to see, it was not too bad. The situation got so bad that I had to actually change the name of the game, so they changed it to Infestation Survivor Stories. But, like I said, the story of this game has just gotten down, 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 has gotten so bad, they've been accused of everything you can think of. Everything, including like criminal stuff. They've been accused of banning people on forums just for criticizing the game. They have been accused of bullying and bribing people who complain about the game to try and change your mind. You name it and they've done it. So a petition was created very recently to finally remove this game from Steam once and for all. So if you are a Steam user and if you are a PC player, or even if you're not and you wish to put in your name to finally remove this piece of shit of a game. So if you want, you can check the link in the description. It will bring you to the petition where you can sign your name and you can do your part to stop these money whoring bastards from stealing hard earned people's money for their shitty game. Alright so next up in the news is that the Australian government are considering reclassifying Saints Row 4. So if you're a fan of the Saints Row series you'll well know that it's the series is well known for its sex and violence and crazy dildo weapons and it was no surprise that when Saints Row 4 was being developed that the Australian government and its ratings board we're going to be keeping an eye on this game very closely. So basically they refused classification for the game back on June 19th for some of the weapons. I think it was some of the anal weapons. One of the anal probe weapons that you could use in game. Apparently the ratings board didn't like that so they refused classification for this game. And now they're considering reclassifying the game if some of those weapons are removed. Now, you know, to me I'm a I'm a fan of the series. I wouldn't say I'm a massive fan, but I'm a fan of the series. I've played all the games. I still have Saints Row 3 up on the, on the, um, the shelf. I played that to death. I loved the, uh, I loved some of the weapons like the dildo, the big purple dildo you can smack the shit out of people with. You know, Saints Row is well known for its crazy weapons, its crazy storyline. You know, this this new game is supposed to, you know, the gang, the Saints Row gang have taken over the the government, they're now basically the president and the government and now aliens have landed and now it's up to the saints to eradicate the aliens. It's just a funny game, it's not to be based on real life at all but we're all aware that the Australian government and ratings board are very very strict when it comes to video games in general. Many violent video games in the past have been banned or have been strictly raided like Manhunt and Grand Theft Auto. And to me it was no surprise that this was going to happen, but I just surely hope that they do reclassify Saints Row 4 and they do release it. Maybe with weapons removed or without weapons removed, we'll just have to wait and see, but they shouldn't have to ban the entire game. The game is going to be released in Europe on August 20th and August 23rd everywhere else respectively. And the final bit of news that I wanted to cover today is the Battlefield 4 Fan Dog Tag Contest. 
So last week EA and DICE ran a contest where players could design their own Battlefield 4 dog tags. Now some of these dog tags will be chosen and they'll be actually brought into Battlefield 4. And these are some of the Battlefield 4 dog tags. I think my favourite has to be the uh, Grumpy Cat, the No Cat, and uh, Sergeant Elias, is it? Um, it was in uh, Tropic Thunder. Uh, he says, uh, you never go full retard. I can't remember his name. Um, it was uh, he was played by Robert Downey Jr. and he was actually uh, black and he was he was actually really really funny. If you've never seen Tropic Thunder, please go see Tropic Thunder. It's such a funny film. But I can't remember his name. Somebody tell me in the comment section below what this guy's name is. If you've seen Tropic Thunder and you know his name, go ahead and check it out. I'm not going to Google it. I'm too lazy. But anyway, some of these dog tags actually look pretty cool. Uh, one of them is the Minions of Despicable Me. One of them is, like I said, the Grumpy Cat. No. And there are a lot more. So this is actually a pretty cool idea. I myself, are, I'm not really a real big fan of customization. But I'm going to actually save that for another commentary. Maybe tomorrow or the next day. I'm going to talk about customization and my thoughts on it. But yeah, that is pretty much all I'm going to cover today in today's video, lads. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave your comments down below. And I'll see you again, lads. Thanks again for watching.